All right, um, this is the video for Monday, March 9th. Um, your objective is to write polynomial equations from their roots, um, and hopefully this should be a pretty short video. We're just gonna do four problems together. Um, first one, I want you to make this table in your notes so you can kind of divide them up um, with these lines, just make a little table. Number one, we've actually already done something very similar to this. So if you have a root of x equals two, and a root of x equals negative four, um, you know that if it has two roots, it's gonna be a quadratic equation. So the factors here are going to correspond to the roots. So x minus two and x plus four. And then all you'll do is simplify them. So you'll just multiply x minus two times x plus four. When you clear that in, you should get your polynomial. So f of x will equal x squared plus two x minus eight. And that's your equation. So this should make sense. We have two roots and we have a quadratic, which is a second degree polynomial. So that should make sense. So all we're going to do is just um, keep a match. So now we have four roots. So this is a oops, fourth, um, I'm sorry, four, oops. We have four roots. So we should have a fourth degree polynomial when we're done. Um, so the factors here, they correspond. I just already wrote them out for you. So if these are the, the roots that you're given, then these are the factors that go along with them. So x would correspond, x equals zero would correspond to either x, x minus zero, x plus zero, it's all the same. x minus three goes to x plus three, whoops, x minus four, um, oops x equals four goes to x minus four, x equals negative four equals, goes to x plus four. So basically what we wanna do is we wanna multiply all of these factors together and that will give us our polynomial. Um, so there's a lot of different ways that you can do that. So I'm gonna multiply these two groups at a time. I could multiply x times x plus three, take that answer and multiply it by x minus four, take the answer and multiply it by x plus four. I'm just gonna make this a little easier for myself. So I'm gonna multiply um, whoops, I actually didn't need to do it that big. So x times x plus three should be pretty easy for you. Um, it's just x squared plus three x. Down here, x minus four times x plus four is x squared minus 16. So what I'm gonna do is just multiply those two together to get my um, polynomial function. So I'll just do it down here. So x squared plus three x, x squared minus 16 gives us x to the fourth negative 16x squared, um, 3x cubed, and negative 16 times 3 will give you 48, so negative 48x. Okay, so your answer, and I'll just write this in red so it's easier to see, f of x equals x to the fourth plus 3x cubed minus 16x squared minus 48x. Sorry, I can't get that on one line. So same thing as we've done before. So it gets one degree a little bit more difficult than that. And that's when you start getting complex roots. So for instance, we have a root of x equals three and a root of x equals two i. So the tricky thing here is that if you have a root of two i, you also have its conjugate root and its conjugate root is negative two i. So if you remember when we talked about a plus bi, and its conjugate will be a minus bi. This is kind of the reason that we need conjugates. You can't have one without the other. And we'll kind of practice why that happens. Um, so if you see one complex root, you need its conjugate as well. So after you kind of added that in, what we can do is just figure out the factors here. So this one should be easy. x equals three gives us x minus three. And then these, although they have i's in them, they're gonna work the exact same way. So the conjugate for x equals two i would be x minus two i, and for x equals negative two i would be x plus two i. So in order to simplify this, I'm actually gonna first multiply these two together. So x minus two i and x plus two i. So this would be x squared minus two i x plus two i x minus four i squared. So you re may remember that when you multiply complex conjugates together, you get a real number. 
We learned that last week. So 2ix and negative 2ix, those are going to cancel out. So I've got x squared, and then this number here, i squared is negative 1, so negative 4i squared is going to be a positive 4. So what I'm going to do now is multiply my answer, which was x squared plus 4. Here's my x squared, here's my plus 4. The other two canceled out. I'm going to multiply that by my other factor up here, which is x minus 3. So I'm going to get an answer of x cubed, whoops, x cubed um, plus 4x minus 3x squared minus 12. And I'll write that in standard form. So my final answer, I'll put it in pink, um, will be f of x is equal to um, x cubed uh, minus 3x squared plus 4x minus 12. Sorry again that I can't get that on the same line, but I want you to see it all in one um, line on your paper. So this one's a little bit difficult. Feel free to go back and play this again. And then the next one is going to be a little bit more of a challenge problem. I want you to kind of go through it with me, even though it's a little bit more challenging. Um, I had an issue with the explain everything, so just ignore it. Um, so this is number four. So the factors will be really similar to what they were before. So if I have an x minus 3, that'll be x plus 3. x equals 4 will be x minus 4. So then this one's a little tricky. You're going to do x minus whatever the, the root is, which is 1 plus i. And then if you remember correctly, if we have 1 plus i, I also need to do its conjugate. So its conjugate is going to be... 1 minus i. So in order to get the factor for that, it would be x minus 1 minus i. So this is where it gets a little bit tricky. Um, so we need to distribute this negative here. So x minus 1 minus i. And this would be x minus 1 plus i if I distribute the negative. So again, we want to just multiply them together in order to get our our um, polynomial. So just to kind of keep this in mind, this is a um, going to be a fourth degree polynomial because we have four roots. So if you just want to make a note of that, we should have a fourth degree polynomial. So what we're going to do is just multiply these two together and multiply these two together. So if you use your box, I'll just put a little box in there so that you guys can draw that out. Um, you should get x squared minus x minus 12. Um, and I'm going to just minimize this whole thing. Um, well, maybe not actually. I'm going to scooch over and create a new page so that we can see how this multiplies out because this is actually a three by three. Okay, this is especially um, tricky because now we have two big things to multiply. So we've got x squared minus 2x plus 2 and we've got x squared minus x minus 12. So if we multiply those together, we should get our answer. So I'm going to actually move to another page again. Um, and then you'll write the answer to our polynomial here. It'll be f of x equals. Um, and I can't go back to this page, so you'll just know that this is where you'll write it. Um, and it should be a fourth degree because as I'm looking here, I've got an x to, the, x to the second power, x squared times x squared. So that should give us x to the fourth. So I'm going to um, add a new one. This is going to be the end of the video. So um, I'm going to make a 3 by 3 again. I know this is a big problem. So this will be x squared minus x minus 12. And this will be x squared minus 2x plus 2. So I'll go ahead and multiply it. If you want to um, pause this and do it yourself and then just check it, that's fine too. So this is x to the fourth minus 2x to the third. This is 2x squared. This will be minus x to the third. This will be 2x squared. This will be negative 2x. We've got negative 12x squared up here. We've got 24x, and we've got negative 24. So if I add those together, my f of x, where you're writing that on that line, is x to the fourth minus 3x cubed. We've got all these friends. So that's going to be negative 8x squared. These guys will give us 22x and minus 24. So if you were to plug this equation into your calculator and look for the roots, 
you'll find roots at x equals negative 3, x equals 4, and, um, and that's it because the other two roots are imaginary. Um, so they're there, but you won't be able to see them on the graph. So that's it. I know number four was really tricky. Um, please make sure that you definitely understand one, two, and three, though. Um, and we'll go over this tomorrow. All right, that's it. Have a good night. So we'll do a much bigger box here if you want to do this in another area. So we're multiplying together two factors, which include complex roots. Um, so the great thing about this is, is that we're actually not going to get a complex answer um, because we know that if we use some functions and try and find their roots, they have complex um, answers. So we're kind of working backwards. So x minus 1 plus i and x minus 1 minus i. If we put those together, we get x squared minus x minus x plus 1. We have an ix over here and a negative ix down here. We've got a positive i here and a negative i here. And then down here we've got negative i squared. So as you can see, the um, complex numbers are going to cancel out here. And our negative i squared is positive 1. So if we simplify this, what we have is x squared minus 2x and then plus 2. So in other words, if you were to find the roots of just that polynomial, you would get um, complex answers. Okay, so this is a really challenging problem because